This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Welcome to our new show, InfoLoop, where we bring you the latest in cybersecurity research. Today, we're going to talk about Bugganizer. Bugganizer is an internal issue tracker used by Google to track bug fixes, features, and enhancement requests related to its products to allow relevant third-party collaboration. It is also available publicly, but with limited functionality. Security researcher Alex Bersan was reporting issues related to other Google products when he noticed an email sent to him by Bugganizer and decided to test it. He found multiple vulnerabilities in Bugganizer and also won a handful of cash, $15,633.07 to be exact. Let's understand what he found out. Bugganizer allows a user to participate in discussions by sending emails to a special address, which are made up of component ID and issue ID of the issue request. Basically, by sending an email to these email IDs, one could post a comment on the corresponding issue. Alex raised an address change request from a new Gmail account to change the address to an address of this format. He selected component ID and bug ID of an issue which he had reported. Gmail service sent an email confirmation to this address, which due to the feature got posted to the issue thread. Alex then clicked on the confirmation link and successfully changed the address. Using this new Google email address, he was not able to log into core Google corporate services, but was able to use other services like using Google's Ride service. Alex discovered that someone can follow all comments on an issue by starting it from an unauthorized account. By realizing this, he starred multiple recent issues and got updates for those via email. He was not able to spot any useful information in the comments, but as this could be used to pivot to other attacks, he, re he reported it and received a bounty. Alex also found an API which can remove the user from the mailing list of an issue. But due to improper implementation, the API doesn't check if the requester has required access permissions on the issue and even returns full details of the issue if the email ID and deletion request is not present in the subscriber list. However, Google patched all reported issues quickly. The link to Alex's blog post with full details on his process will be available in the description box below. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time on another episode of InfoLoop. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.